everyone. Welcome to Mother Goose on the Loose. My name is Miss Katie. I am the librarian over at the Fairview Shores branch. So Mother Goose on the Loose is a lap time story time designed for babies birth to 18 months, but all ages are welcome. We're going to have a lot of fun here. We do a lot of rhymes, a lot of singing. We're going to have some puppets. It's going to be a grand old time. So we will go through all of our rhymes twice so that we can all learn it together. And with that, I think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and get started. So our first rhyme today is old mother goose so for this one we are going to bounce we'll fly from side to side and we'll go through it a couple of times old mother goose when she wanted to wonder would fly through the air on her very fine gander but then she's got to go back home so we'll go the other way old mother goose when she wanted to wonder would fly through the air on her very fine gander very nice you guys that was awesome let's do that one more time Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wonder, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. But then we've got to go back home, so we'll go the other way. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wonder, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. Very nice. That was awesome. Okay, so our next rhyme is Goosey Goosey Gander. So for this one, We'll bounce and then we'll go upstairs, downstairs, and we'll finish with a big hug. We'll go through that a couple of times. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Aw, big hug. Very nice. Let's do that one more time. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Aw, very nice. Good job, everybody. That was fabulous. Okay, so our next rhyme is a hippopotamus on a city bus. So for this one, you can bounce or tap and then it will end with a big smoosh. So we'll go through it a couple of times. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, hey, you're squishing us. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Let's do that one more time. This time, I'll be tapping. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus. Got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, hey, you're squishing us. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. I love that rhyme. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so our next one is Swing Me Over the Ocean. So Swing Me Over the Ocean is a rocking or a swinging rhyme. So for this one, you can either hold your baby and rock as we swing. You can hold their arms up and swing back and forth. If you've got older children with you, this is a fun one to turn into a little dance or a little sway. Uh, this is also really helpful in building up all of those early learning skills and all of those early language building skills when you connect the word to the motion that is happening. So when you say swing and you're swinging at the same time, it's just an extra way to reinforce what that word means. So we're gonna go through it a couple of times. Swing me over the ocean, swing me over the sea, Swing me over the garden and have me home for tea. Ah, big hug. Very nice. That was excellent. Let's do that one more time. Swing me over the ocean. Swing me over the sea. Swing me over the garden and have me home for tea. Very nice. That was fabulous. Good job, everybody. All right. We are moving on to our next rhyme, which is the little clapping mouse. So for this one, you can either do the motions out in front of your baby or you can help them do it themselves. Personal preference, whatever you prefer. So for this one, after each sentence, we're gonna do two claps and we'll go through it a couple of times. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Let's try that one more time. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten 
the cat away. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. All right, so our next rhyme is two little bluebirds. So for this one, we're gonna have one little bluebird, we're gonna have two little bluebirds. So this is another one where you can do the motions out in front of your baby, or you can help them do it themselves. But motions like this, where you're working on sort of fine motor skills, are sort of the precursors to learning how to hold pencils and markers and stuff like that to be able to write. And so this is a really helpful way to sort of build up some of those motor skills in their little hands. So we've got one little bluebird, We've got two little bluebirds, and we're gonna see what happens. Two little bluebirds sitting on a cloud, one named Soft, the other named Loud. Fly away, Soft, fly away, Loud, come back, Soft, come back, Loud. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. This is a really fun one to repeat with any kind of pair of opposites, so let's try that again, but with Wiggly and Stream. Two little bluebirds sitting on a cloud, one named Wiggly, the other named Straight. Fly away, Wiggly, fly away, Straight. Come back, Wiggly, come back, Straight. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Okay, we are moving on to a little bit of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I know we all love head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and one of the reasons why you see it a lot in these kinds of programs is because repetition is a key to learning. So doing the same thing over and over and over again really helps to lock in all of those skills as they are learning them. So we're just gonna go through all of the different parts. You can touch down the body as we move through our song. We'll go through it a couple of times. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very nice, that was fabulous. Let's go through that one more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very nice, that was excellent. Okay, we're gonna move on to another fabulous little rhyme. And this is called, this is big, big, big. So for this one, we're gonna go through a bunch of different motions. This is another one where you can do the motions out in front of your baby, or you can help them do it themselves, personal preference, whatever you prefer. We'll go through it a couple of times. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is tall, tall, tall. This is short, short, short. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Very nice, that was excellent. Let's do that one more time. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is tall, tall, tall. This is short, short, short. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Very nice, that was fabulous. Okay, we are moving right on along and we are gonna do a little I have two little eyes. So this is a subset of body recognition rhymes, which was what head, shoulders, knees, and toes is. These are facial recognition rhymes. Faces are awesome. They're one of the first thing that babies start to recognize. And so anything that works on what, you know, identifying the different parts of the face is a super awesome way to build up some of those early learning skills. We'll go through it again twice. Two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear each sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that loves to eat. And this is baby, or not baby sign language, just sign language in general for eating. It's a really easy sign language word that babies can pick up, and so it's an easy way for them to begin to communicate before they're actually able to talk. So let's go through that one more time. Two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear each sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that loves to eat. Very nice, that was lovely. All right. So we're doing a little bit of open them, shut them. 
Open Them, Shut Them is another one of those that works on some of those fine motor skills that you need when you are learning how to hold pencils and markers and crayons when you're learning how to write. So this just helps work on that. So again, you can do the motions out in front of your baby or you can help them do it themselves, personal preference. Can you open them and shut them? And open them and shut them. Can you give a little clap? Very nice. Can you open them and shut them? And open them and shut them. And put them in your lap. Very nice. Can you creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin? Open your little mouth, but don't let them in. Very nice, let's do that one more time. Can you open them and shut them? And open them and shut them. Can you give a little clap? Very nice. Can you open them and shut them? And open them and shut them. And put them in your lap. Can you creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin? Open your little mouth, but don't let them in. Very nice. Let's do a little bit of where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Let's do that one more time. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Very nice, that was excellent. All right, so we're gonna move on to a little something called move and stop. So for this one, it's a little bit like the free stance. You can bounce, you can dance, you can move around however you choose. And when we say stop, we're gonna freeze. So can you move and 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 stop? Excellent. Can you move and 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 stop? Fabulous. Can you move and 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 stop? Very good. And can you move and 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 stop? Excellent, very nice, very good. All right, we're gonna move on to some bounces. So bounces are super fun. Everybody loves some bounces. You can either bounce with your legs crossed, you can stick your legs out and bounce like that. If you're sitting in a chair, you can just pop up and down with your feet. Personal preference, whatever you prefer. If you, we're gonna do a bunch of lifts with these. If you're not feeling lifts, totally fine. Feel free to adjust at will. So if I'm lifting, feel free to just lift your arms or raise their legs, anything like that to kind of get the same motion. So our first one is, I'm a little cuckoo clock. So for this one, we're gonna bounce or you can sway from side to side. And when the clock cries cuckoo, we'll all go up. We'll go to two o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm chiming one o'clock. Cuckoo. Very nice, that was excellent. Let's go to two. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm chiming two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Very nice, that was excellent. All right, so our next bounce is a little something called Akabaka Soda Cracker. So for this one, we'll bounce, we'll go from side to side, we'll do an I love you, and then we'll end with a lift. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Very nice, that was excellent. Let's do that one more time. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Very nice, that was excellent. All right, so our next bounce is a little something called mother and father and uncle John. So for this one, we're gonna bounce and then we'll fall from side to side. 
Mother and father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off, wee, And father fell off, wee. But Uncle John went on and 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 on. Whew, very nice. Let's do that one more time. Mother and father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off, wee, And father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Whew, very nice. Good job, everybody. That was lovely. All right, well now we have got some special friends that have come to visit us. So let's see who we have today. Hmm, let's go ahead and start with Mr. Mocha. Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, what do you hear? I hear a... Hmm. Oh my goodness, what do I hear? Oh, I hear a, what is that? That's right, a chicken. What sound do chickens make? They go bark, 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 bark. Very nice. Chicken, chicken, what do you hear? I hear a, hmm. Oh my, what do I hear? Oh. I hear a, that's right, it's a cow mooing at me. Brown cow, brown cow, what do you hear? I hear a, hmm, oh my, what do I hear? Oh, I hear a, what is that? That's right, it's a monkey. What sound do monkeys make? They go, <laughs> monkey, monkey, what do you hear? I hear a, hmm, what do I hear? Oh, oh my, I hear a, that's right, a sheep, baaing at me. Woolly sheep, woolly sheep, what do you hear? I hear a, hmm, oh my, what do I hear? Oh, I hear a, f what is that? That's right, a frog. What sound do frogs make? They go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Well, green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see all the babies looking at me. Very nice, you guys. That was fabulous. That was some pretty cool animals that came to visit us. I like it. All right, so now we're gonna bring out some props. We are gonna use some scarves and some bells. So I've got a little scarf hanging out right here. If you don't have a scarf, you can use something like a blanket or a burp cloth. You can use a sock, pretty much anything that you can use to wave around. And then we're gonna use something like bells or musical instruments, so. I've got bells, but you can use something like rice in a jar, anything that'll make a sound when you shake it, that's gonna come in handy a little bit later. So we're gonna bring out our scarves. Very nice. All right, so let's see. Can you take your scarf and can you wave it up high? Excellent, very nice. Can you wave it down low? Fabulous. Can you wave it really fast? Really fast, 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 fast. Really fast, 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 fast. Woo, very nice. Can you wave it really slowly? Excellent. Can you wave it around in a circle? Around, then around, then around, then around. Very nice. Can you blow on your scarf like you're the wind? Whoa, pretty cool, very nice. Can you play peekaboo with your scarf? Hmm, hmm. Where did all the babies go? Peekaboo. Hmm. Where did all of the babies go? Peekaboo. Hmm. Where has everybody gone? Hmm. Peekaboo. Very nice. Can you fold your scarf into a little washcloth? Excellent. Because we need to get nice and clean. So we're gonna do a little bit of this is the way we wash. This works in again with the body recognition. We're gonna go through a bunch of different parts. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our neck, wash our neck, 
wash our neck. This is the way we wash our neck so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms, wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our shins, wash our shins, wash our shins. This is the way we wash our shins so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our heels, wash our heels, wash our heels. This is the way we wash our heels so early in the morning. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. We are feeling nice and clean and ready. So we are gonna do our next scarf song, which is The Fish in the Sea. And so this goes to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus. We're gonna see what all of these different things get up to in the middle of the ocean. The fish in the sea goes swish, swish, swish. Swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round all day long. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day day long. The sand in the sea drifts down, 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 down. The sand in the sea drifts down, down, down all day long. Very nice, you guys. That was excellent. Can you give your scarves one more good up high wave? Fabulous. And one more good down low wave. Excellent. And it's time to put these scarves away. Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, I am blowing the scarves away. Very nice. And we're going to put those scarves away. Very nice. Good job, everybody. That was excellent. All right, so now we're gonna move on to that second prop that I was talking about, the bells or shakers or musical instruments, anything that you have on hand. I have got some bells with me. Excellent, very nice. Can you ring your bells up high? Can you ring them down low? Can you ring them in the middle? Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of London Bridge is falling down. So songs like this where you're breaking the word up into the syllables and the sounds that it's made out of is really helpful to boost up all of those early language learning skills. So falling, you're really helping to break down what it is that makes up that word. Syllables are the building blocks to language, so it's a super awesome way to work on all of those skills. So we'll go through it a couple of times. London Bridge is falling down, falling down falling down london bridge is falling down my fair lady build it up with sticks and stones sticks and stones sticks and stones build it up with sticks and stones my fair lady very nice you guys that was excellent let's go through it one more time london bridge is falling down Falling down, falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Very nice, you guys. That was excellent. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next song. And this is a little bit of Frère Jaca. So this one we're gonna do in French and then we'll do it in English. Frère Jaca, Frère Jaca, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matina, sonnez les matina. Din, din, don, din, din, don. Are you sleeping, are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Very nice, you guys, that was excellent. Let's do that one more time. I know sometimes that people feel a little self-conscious when they're singing, but your baby loves the sound of your voice. It is one of the best voices in the world, so they totally enjoy it, no worries. Let's go through it one more time. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, dormez-vous. Dormez-vous, sonnez les matina, sonnez les matina, din, din, don, din, din, don. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? 
sleeping. Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Very nice, you guys. That was excellent. Give your bells and shakers one more good up high one and one more good down low one. Fabulous. And we're going to put those bells away. Whew. Oh my goodness. That was lovely. Good job, everybody. All right. So we are moving right on to our last song. So our last song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we're going to go through all of the different hand movements. Again, this is one where you can do the motions out in front of your baby or you can help them do it themselves. Personal preference. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very nice, you guys. That was excellent. Let's do that one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very nice, everybody. That was fabulous. All right, y'all. Well, we have reached the end of Mother Goose on the Loose. Thank you so much for joining me. So my hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. A clap, 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 and a tap, tap, tap. Goodbye, everybody, and see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody, and see you soon. Really, really soon. Very nice, everybody. That was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me for Mother Goose. And we will see y'all next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.